Hello, here we are again. Christmas is coming. And uh, I've been reading the accounts again, as you will have been doing, of the Christmas story. <clears throat> and uh, just one or two things that I've noticed, which I share with you this morning. And uh, the first thing I noticed about the birth of Jesus is the timing of it. It's rather interesting in Galatians 4 and verse 4, it says that when the fullness of time was come, when the right time was come, God sent his son into the world. And uh, there was uh, the right the right time. God working his purposes out. God has a program. And it's interesting if you remember in uh, uh, Luke chapter 2, we're told that the Roman emperor decided that he wanted a census for the whole empire. So people had to go to the place of their birth or origin, which meant that Joseph had to go from Nazareth to Bethlehem. It was the decree of the Roman Empire that made uh, Joseph and Mary go from Nazareth to Bethlehem where Jesus was to be born according to prophecy. The timing. And the other, of course, is the miracle. The miracle of the birth. That who was uh, Jesus? He was God incarnate. His name shall be called Emmanuel, God is with us. And uh, th this, is, this is amazing. It's difficult to grasp, isn't it? That God took upon himself our human nature and lived among us. And yet that is what the uh, n n name means, Emmanuel. God is with us. I think I've probably told you before of the the mother putting her little uh, child to bed and saying, now go to sleep, God is with you. And the child saying, well, I'd like a God with a skin on. <laughs> yes, a God with a skin on. And that's what Christmas is about, really, isn't it? God coming to dwell amongst us. Quite difficult to grasp. And yet this is the wonder uh, of Christmas. And then there's the purpose of the birth, isn't there? Again, Mary was told, and Joseph, you are to call him Jesus. He shall save his people from their sins. Jesus, Saviour, the purpose for his coming in, into the world. There was a need for salvation. There was a need for mankind. They needed a saviour and a saviour from sin. And Jesus comes to be the saviour of the world. And then, of course, we have the reactions to the birth of Jesus. Vary from one to another. But we may recall the, the shepherds being told of the birth of Jesus and how they go in wonder and uh, they find Jesus uh, in the stable and they worship him and they return rejoicing. And then, of course, we have the wise men who made that long journey uh, from the east to come following the star and eventually arriving at the stable. And they too came and worshipped him, worshipped him and presented unto him their gifts. Came and worshipped and brought their gifts. But there was one person who could not enter into the joy and the wonder of it. And that, of course, was King Herod. It was a threat to his lifestyle. 
it was a threat to his throne. And so he plans to kill the baby Jesus. And Joseph is told in a dream uh, that he must take Mary and the baby and go into Egypt because King Herod is going to try to kill the child. So here we are. We have these different reactions, don't we? And of course today, I suppose, we have different reactions. Those who welcome him, who welcome the good news gladly, who come and uh, who worship him and follow him. And those who are not sure, not sure who Jesus is. And uh, I was uh, reading uh, just recently uh, about, um, uh, now what's his name, Nicky Gummel. Nicky Gummel, he was the one who pioneered uh, the Alpha course, which has been very successful, an introduction to the Christian faith. But uh, I was uh, hearing that uh, he was an atheist. He was an atheist. But uh, eventually he read the Gospels. He read them with an open mind. And uh, he read the four Gospels. And as he read John's Gospel, he came to the place where he was convinced that Jesus was who he said he was. And uh, he became a Christian. And uh, he's now the vicar of uh, Holy Trinity Brompton in uh, in London. But there we are. there's one who who was an atheist, but discovered the good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel. And uh, maybe this uh, year there will be those who have come to realize that Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. That Jesus is our Saviour. He is our friend and our Lord. So may you have a happy Christmas. And it comes another week to go yet. But it's good to have a chat with you. Look forward to seeing you next week. Just a brief prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the good news of Christmas. For the gift of your Son to be our Saviour. May each one of us Welcome him with open hearts and open minds. Bless us, we pray, and to you be all the praise and all the glory. Amen. Okay, well, good to see you, and look forward to seeing you next week. Bye. God bless.